Here he also claims to have seen ivory tusks, teeth being traded. Then he entered a very hot region of very high mountains, sometimes called the Mountains of the Moon, and sometimes the Mountains of Gold. He seems to be describing the mythical mountains of Kong, a great range dividing Africa's west coast from its interior. The mountains of Kong, believed to lie beyond the source of the White Nile, appeared in many accounts and on many maps, all the way into the 19th century, but have never been found and existed only in the minds of map makers and travel writers. In any case, the Spanish Franciscan moved into legendary territory, describing the location of the earthly paradise, often positioned in the far south, below the African interior. In a settlement he called Graziona, he encountered a Christian empire peopled by Negroes, men of intelligence with good brains, and they have understanding and knowledge. They drank excellent fresh water that flowed from the Antarctic pole, running out of the earthly paradise. And the local emperor was a defender of a certain Prester Juan, or Prester John, the patriarch of Nubia and Ethiopia. The Spanish Franciscan was one of the earliest writers to locate the figure of Prester John in Africa. In his account, Prester John was a Christian emperor with his capital at a town called Malsa, on the banks of an African river called Euphrates. He wrote that Prester John's device was a white flag with a black cross and golden crozier at either side, symbolizing his dominion over the neighboring Christian emperors of Graziona and Magda Sor. The Franciscan did not describe this capital city, Malsa, but medieval images of Prester John show him on a grand, carved throne amid tented encampments in a mountainous landscape. Here, the Franciscans seem to be conflating or confusing the West African Mandinka, word Mansa, ruler or monarch, and the Islamic Empire of Mali with a European Christian fantasy of Prester John's Ethiopia. At Malsa, the Spanish Franciscan saw and heard marvellous things daily. He was told by locals and wise men that the nearby earthly paradise consisted of mountains so high that they nearly touched the moon. They said that these mountains were surrounded by a great sea from which ran the four biblical rivers of paradise, Tigris, Euphrates, Gihon and Phison, described in Genesis, irrigating all of Nubia and Ethiopia. He was told that these rivers flowed in such raging torrents that the people living next to them were deaf and that in these mountains living things could not decay or die. He was further told that on one side of the mountains it was light at all times, and on the other side it was always dark, because the mountains were exactly on the horizon, or a version of the equator. In fact, this material came from European texts, but was nonetheless repeated as eyewitness truth. The Spanish Franciscan's evident belief in Prester John represents a broad later medieval European understanding of a Christian empire beyond Egypt, which was overlaid onto the actual empire of Ethiopia.